Anyways, I was just wondering, <laughs> any juicy gossip? What's going on? Uh, how about this Vinny, uh, Vinny and Brooklyn thing? Oh, what happened with that? How what happened? What did you say, Carmela? I said, what happened with that? Oh, basically, uh, Vinny cheated on, uh... Oh, one second. One second. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Give me, give me one second. This, this guy. Yeah, sorry, yeah, Vinny it. cheated on Rosa with Brooklyn. I'm gonna find her. Oh. And Rosa found out, and oh. Vinny and Rosa have beef. Uh, I'm gonna kill Brooklyn, by the way. What? Um, why? 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 Okay. Let oh. me let me explain. Why would you why. kill Brooklyn? She is let my me, friend. Uh huh. Uh huh. What's let me, let me explain. Her, okay, explain. Start fucking explaining, pigeon. Oh. Now. She texted me. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Hi, can I buy a gun? Open a photo album in the car. <laughs> okay, and? Uh, okay, okay, and? Oh, I'm pretty oh. sure I texted you, I need a bomb, period. Oh. Oh. One second, if you, one second. Girl. Oh my god, okay, Pigeon wants camp? to kill Brooklyn. Girl. What? Okay, that's right. you, you haven't, you haven't. You're lucky, you're lucky, Carmela. Why? You, 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 because you haven't, you oh. haven't, said, you haven't said that. I haven't what? You haven't texted me, I need a bomb. Where's Pigeon? Okay, so Good. I'm pretty sure people like ask you for shit over the phone though. Girl, wait, what? Yes, that's the difference between a How is that different? Your phone could be bugged. People could be listening mm. to you. Okay, but that, they can't use that evidence so in a court of law, right? Okay. Yes, they can. They, they can use that evidence as a court of law. They didn't, they, didn't me, they didn't give me a. No, they can't use it in the court of law. Yes, Girl. they fucking could, you bastard. If you touch Brooklyn, <laughs> I am going to fucking skin you alive and deep fry your dick, okay? They Oh, they oh, can't yum. use it in a court of law, you bastard. Like, oh my Jesus gosh. gosh. They they can, okay. Oh my god, now you're speaking my language. Now I kind of get it. But I'm still oh. saying, if you touch Brooklyn, I oh, will yeah. kill you! Oh, I'm sorry, bye. Sorry. Bye. Bye. Nom, nom, bye. nom, nom, bye. nom, nom, noms. Oh, bitch, I need some nom, noms. Uh, Kitchen. And I'm hungry. Here we go. Is this about to be drama? Hey. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. What the hell yes. is going on, Rosa? Okay, so yesterday, right, I wake up and I was told to check Twitter and I see this girl and I already know about Brooklyn at this point, but she tweets out Vinny, Vinny, Vinny Hart. And I was like, oh my fucking god, here we go again. <laughs> so okay. I can co confront Vinny and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And he just avoids it. And so I eventually come to the realization. I was like, okay. I want to kill her, but I need to give her the benefit of the doubt. If she doesn't know about me, then I can't be mad at her, right? Okay. You'd be mad at the man. Yeah, I get so it. So I ended it. up talking to her, and Ooh. she didn't know about me, and she was upset because Vinny, you know, set her up to die or something. What? So she yeah. and I, you know, the saying okay. about, like, the, you know, the friend of my enemy is, or whatever it is. So I decided, no, I was like, okay. I, I get you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, well, she and I can join forces and fuck up Vinny. But then I get a text from Rami that says, oh, my God, Vinny and Brooklyn are making out down by the Civ docs. You need to come down here right oh! now. So, of course, I oh lose my, my shit. God. Okay. And I go down there and I pull a gun on them. And I'm like, who the fuck is making out down here? Who do you think you are? And uh, Rami was stirring the pot. But I was still angry because they're meeting in private. Yeah, I was like, okay, what do you guys okay. have to meet about? And so this whole thing, we we end up talking and like we punch Vinny, and then Vinny gets mad at me for being mad queen. at him for cheating on me. And what? So he, yeah, yeah. And all day he was like, "We're fucking done. I can't believe this. I'm so mad at you." And you know, I'm impressionable, and so I ended up saying sorry. I don't know why the fuck I said sorry, but I did. You said sorry to a I man? No, it was to so a man. Weird. That's what I said. Rosa. You need to take it back. Um. I know. Okay. That was your first mistake. I was so overwhelmed. Okay, so he was what running the hell is going on now? Like, okay, and so then we were at the events, and Rami and I were talking, and he was like, "Fuck Vinny, like you don't deserve to be treated like this." And I was spelled, like, "Thank spelled. you." Literally, I was like, "This is you're so correct." And so Rami is mad at, or no, Vinny was mad at Rami for shooting him, right? Okay. And so Vinny starts to say all this wild shit about you. He starts Me? to say, 
oh, well, Carmella was cheating on Rami and Carmella was with all these guys and Carmella was Carmella that. Yeah. And to be fair, not that I want to like back him up. I don't think he was saying it because he actually believes that about you. I think he was trying to hurt Rami. But still, but I told him, I said, you don't talk shit. Like, why, are you, why are you bringing Carmella in this? What? Exactly. So he's calling me a cheater? Yeah. He's trying to deflect and call you a cheater so the attention's on what? him and not or on you, not on him. <laughs> you fucking And I me? feel bad because I didn't say much, but still. What is his fucking problem? Yeah, he kept talking about Ming and saying that, you know, you brought Ming to their Rami's what? house. I wasn't with Rami at the time. Yeah. So well, I'm mad at him still. What are you doing? And I've been acting like everything's me? cool, but it's don't worry, not. I got you, girl. Oh my god! Well, what? Yeah, I'm oh. definitely gonna have to handle that with him. But yeah. and on top of it too, during all of the arguments, he kept saying that Brooklyn was your fault, that you were pushing it, and that you told him that he was I was all over her, him. being like, "Oh, I can handle oh, her. I can handle her. Oh, Rosa He's doesn't disgusting. come around. I can handle her." He can barely yeah. handle his own fucking words. Exactly. Old ass man, I can't believe it. Fucking shriveled bald man. What is his problem? I've been nothing but nice to him forever. That's what I was thinking. I was like, Carmela's had your back this entire time. Like, why are you bringing her into this? I don't fucking understand, Rosa. Why would he do something like that? To both because of us. he was upset that he got caught, is what it was. Men, I swear. You know, you had this come. I mean, you knew that this was coming, Rosa. No, literally. <laughs> Ever since that one time we talked about her months ago? Mm-hmm. But, like, the problem is here, girls. Who's the problem, Vinny, or is it Brooklyn? It's fucking Vinny. Brooklyn it's thought Vinny. that he was single. At this and he point, fucking like, set her oh. up to, like... Yeah. They literally set her up just to look like a hoe. Like, I'm just going to say it. They did, like, their annoying ass, like, boy thing where, like, you know, Zolo asked her out on a date. And then, um, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's my train of thought. No, it, it's Bitch, it's I literally thought that was Francis. Yo! Yeah. Um, so, yeah, like, like I'm, not, I'm not mad at Brooklyn. Yeah. At this point, like, I know she wants to get back at Vinny and Solo. Yeah, I like, mean, if I'm, she... I'm gonna be honest, I am, like, mad for her. Like, the thing is, how the fuck are you gonna get Zolo to ask her out and be like, oh, go on a date with me, da 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 And then Vinny's, like, hiding around the corner just to make fun of her and basically be like, oh, you're for the streets, ah, ha, ha, you're a cheating hoe, and then shoot her. Like, yeah, that is literally what their plan was. That got brought up when we were talking, the three of us. Uh -huh. And I was like... He was like, I didn't cheat on you. I didn't go on a date with her. And I was like, so you were mad enough to shoot her for going on a date with Zolo. Yeah. But you weren't cheating on me? Like, how does that make any sense? I literally don't get it because Rosa, when um, it was actually in Maldini's, we went in there with her. And the whole time he was like, oh, Rosa's never around. Rosa's never around. I can handle Brooklyn. Bada bing, oh, bada boom. Fuck. Like, Rosa, I'm going to be honest. He needs to be put in his grave. No, he literally does. And I've been acting like everything's cool and like fine because uh -huh. I was over it yesterday. But the more I think about it, you know, the more mad I get. I think and to he try needs to, to lose like, his chain. I'm going to take it from him. Yeah. And using you to like make me more mad and was like, oh, well, Carmela set this up. It's Carmela and Rami's fault. I was that like, is just not even true. if that's the case, like, uh, I just have a hard time you know, blaming you. Well, Rosa, I think you should fuck his best friend and see how he feels about that. Oh. Fuck that old man. Get yourself some younger dick. Won't have I think to I should. Spray to get it hard. Mm. <laughs> oh, I found I'm you a saying. present, too. It's not it the really? real thing, but yeah, I saw it and thought of you. <gasps> oh, my God. Thank you. Uh, no, and Polito Pets is around today, so hopefully you can you can. Get oh a real one. well, they're actually oh, mad because I tweeted I am going to bomb Polito Pets. Period. So oh. I might be waiting a little longer. <laughs> we'll fuck them. We'll find a wild one. Yeah. Oh my god. We need yeah, to get his ass maybe back. Maybe I fuck though. pigeon. I don't know. 
That's kind of like low, though. I don't know if I want to fuck. Please pigeon. fuck pigeon. Get him off of Rami's dick because he's still obsessed with him. I feel like he would cry, though. He's the type that would cry in sex. Oh yeah, for like, sure. Oh my god, thank you, Rosa. Oh yeah, I think god. he would cry after as well. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Don't fuck pigeon. Who no, else no, I feel there? really weird. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. There's Zola, but no. No. Um. Oh, Zola was a part of it yesterday too. Wait, he what was, was like, Zolo doing? Sending me pictures of Rom like uh, Vinny on the ground after Rami shot him. And I was like, oh my God, is he hurt? Like trying to pretend. And he was like, I see you care so much. Like you're at the Pride event dancing. Like you don't even care. I'm like, fuck off, Zolo. Autumn Road. Why does Zolo always have to get involved in woman's business? He loves to try to be in a woman's business. I don't no. fucking understand. I thought Moody Man Mae was over, Rosa. That's exactly what I said. Oh, I Some am just... Zilla too. I am fucking over this shit. If I was in an open relationship, We're gonna this get is him. so fucked up. You know, I've got keys to his house. I can fuck up his whole house, too. Yeah. Wait. Mm. Should we set a little trap in Vinny's house? Oh, I think we should set a little trap. I think we should. Mm, I think that's a great idea. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We need to chat. Oh my God, Brooklyn! Cabela! Hey, girl! Bitch, you don't want to believe what kind of fucking the last two days I have had. Where are you? I'm about to start. I'm about to send motherfuckers out. a flame. I swear to God, Camilla. And I will fucking help you because now I'm all looped into it and everyone's pissing me the fuck off now. But you know? I mean, Rosa told me a little bit on her side, and apparently Vinny was saying, like, some nasty shit about me, and... That part I did not know. I didn't know he was talking about you. Yeah, I guess to, like, distract Rosa or whatever, but... I don't know what I it is, I need to know but... your side, Brooklyn. <laughs> yes, where are you right now? Um, I can come to you. I'm in Little Soul. We're actually in Vinny's house building a cage so that when he wakes up, he'll be surrounded <laughs> in fire and caged in like a fucking animal. <laughs> All right, I'm a, uh, you want me to come over there or you want to? Uh, yeah, come to Maldini's. We can go in the right. basement and right. have like a creepy talk. All right, I'll be over there. Okay, bye. bye. Let's go in this here? fucking alleyway. No, I don't. Okay, okay yeah. this is a so, lot better. We're about to talk about trash men next to trash. Tell me what exactly. the fuck happened. So, yeah, so me, Zolo met up with me because <laughs> Vinny and Zolo were calling my phone back to back to back and I was not fucking answering yeah. and so I was good and ready. So I made sure I was to go grab a hammer just in case anything was to go sideways or he was to spit some, you know, talk some dumb shit. Mm -hmm. So he picks me up. We go for a little, you know, a little ride. I was like, yeah, I need to talk to you with, you know, with everything that fucking happened. The last thing I ever fucking remember. So I, I told him to explain to me in his own words, like, what do you think it happened? He was already lying out his fucking teeth. Of course, Trying of to, course. you know, you'll plan for false memories and trying to fuck with my head like uh -huh. this, this is how it went down but i knew how it fucking went down because my memory came back so i was like <gasps> okay. i knew you i was like i knew you fucking shot i know me. you're lying yeah yeah i know you're fucking he's like no Brooklyn, you're wrong that's not how, how you were in a car accident like everyone saw everyone thought you were fucking dead oh, for like months no. and stuff like that we had a funeral for you and everything okay that so, did not happen that's what i'm saying so i was like so you're so you lied to me so i took my fucking hammer i started you know try to hammer him you know a few times and it didn't work because he's oh. built like a fucking transformer apparently mm. so <laughs> he was like Brooklyn, you need to fucking calm down like yes i need to calm the fuck down i was like no i i know for a fact that you're you're trying to get one over me right now so so then you know we were been back and forth for a good like i don't know 30 minutes or an hour and then through the rest of that day i was like you know what maybe i, I have a little clean slate maybe you can make it up to me so he gave me 100k of, of course that you know it should have been 500k i don't know it why should've he, you know, million, was, it, okay, it should have been a million but okay it should have been a million but okay start. whatever it's a start it's a start so i was like all right you know fucking Zoe already got his you know i already hammered him he gave me 100k so whatever and then i had to deal with vinny uh yesterday perhaps yeah yesterday i had to deal with fucking vinny so um rami ended up calling me and I was like, hey, because me, uh, me and, you know, Vinny were going back and forth because I said, you know, I was going to kill Vinny, which uh -huh. I absolutely still want to a little yes, bit. Yes, and you should. But, um, so Rami called me. He was like, hey, Brooklyn, how's it going? Um, I was like, Ooh. yeah, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I want to kill your boy because of what he did. He set me up, blah, 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 blah. He was like, oh, let's meet. Let's talk about this or whatever. So I go okay. up and meet with Rami. I tell Rami everything that would happen. And exactly because he was also there. He got, you know, called in a crossway because I wasn't even aiming for him. But he got like bonked in the back of the head with my yeah. back. Yeah, so I told course. Rami, he was like, and, you know, he did that little thing. He does. He goes like, mm, mm. 
right. Yeah, mm. but he, he does do that. Right, mm. right, right. So he was like, mm. you know what? I'm gonna set up a yeah. meeting between you and Vinny, and then I'll get, I'll get back to you. I was like, okay, fine. So about like an hour, like a 30 minutes to an hour, he said like, yeah, come to the pier, uh, or like the docks or whatever, and we can have a conversation. So I arrived, and Rami was there, and Vinny is on the fucking docks. So basically, I couldn't because uh, I was hanging out with seven Aries and a few others, so they had okay. my back and everything. So uh -huh. I was running on with the crew. So I was like, if anything, if they were to jump me or if they were trying to you know shoot their asses down or whatever. So Vinny started to search me for my weapons and stuff, so I couldn't bring because uh, you know he didn't want me capping his ass or whatever. So I was like, fine, I'll, I'll talk to him. I'll oh talk to him God. for a little bit and see you know where his head is at. But if I you know figure out some bullshit, I'm probably gonna do a spin the block and you know cap his ass. Do what you gotta so do. Then, boom. Yes, exactly. So then me and Vinny started talking. Talking. he pretty much pretty said like i didn't do anything wrong um you you know saying like pretty much saying like, i was being a little traumatic and i was cheating on him and all this but we were never fucking together like we didn't even get to that you fucking literally point. talked for like five minutes but, exactly you know, he was old. like you were cheating on me you know you 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 did all this for yourself you said you were talking to multiple you know gang yeah, members I mean, and men across the city all this such. i was like so if you were upset about it, why are you so pressed about it now like all of a sudden and then rosa showed up with a gun um apparently rami was uh instigating us always saying that we were making out on the fucking dock for someone we we weren't and then you know she kind of you know hear me out a little bit and she was kind of myself because Vinny was you know cheating on her with a, uh -huh, a, a possibly uh -huh. me because i didn't even know about rosa rosa was never mentioned like to be with now and yeah you know, no not then. at all he never told he me and never told me about liar. the girl at all exactly so then after that you know i, I fuck you know i was punching you know Vinny uh, a little bit in here and there so that that was the end of the um the whole thing okay, and then okay. me and rosa sort of talking and then she you know filled me how you know her and her relationship with Vinny was and so at the event, at the Pride event, Ooh. I go over to where, okay, so Zolo starts singing a song that was apparently dedicated to me. But okay. this other girl that he used to be in, what was it? her name is Seven, it, his, it's his like artist or she's like signed to him or whatever. Uh -huh. I guess she has a thing for him or did have a thing. So now I'm like in cahoots between like a tug of war of two different people I used to fuck with kind of thing. And now like they're like, I'm both cool with the girls or whatever, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. But sometimes I feel like Seven, you know, she's cool and she's, you know, been real sweet to me. And uh -huh. I adore her to death. But I, I, sometimes I feel like I'm in the crossfire between her and Zolo's kind Wait, of whole really? thing situation. I'm just being used as a pawn. That's kind of how I feel. What? I could be completely wrong. I don't know if she's like my friend friend or, Ooh. you know, because she's like, she wants to be besties with me and everything like so closely, like so soon. But I just realized, you know, you know, she was just curious of what happened between me and Zolo. So I don't know, but I want to trust because I trust the girl. He said, yeah, you know, older men, any guys, of course. I have known Seven for a while and she's a girl's girl. She has never once like... Right done anything to fuck me over and if i were to talk shit about like any guy she would automatically take my side like she is just right for the girls so i feel like she genuinely just wanted to help you out yeah. and she probably just realized that zolo just isn't that good like i just yeah i you just know? know that you know most of these terrible <laughs> men have you know have done these women terrible and yes, now you know have. we just all together for their fucking actions and they blame oh, us oh, it's so hard <laughs> Yeah, oh and then, <laughs> so that's what I'm fucking dealing with. And now, you know, I think, and then Vinny said, like, yeah, we're cool. We're all right. We're, you know, we're friends or whatever. But I'm still fucking with him a little bit. Just, you know, I'm giving that hint. Like, I'm still upset okay, about it. Did and just to look up and try to for him to be paranoid. Yeah, I'm, like, making him be a little bit paranoid, whatever. So, like, I've just been, you know, talking and cold. Like, yeah, you know, hey, if someone wants to put a bomb under your car and blow it up, that would be terrible. Like, I would hate for that to happen to you <laughs> or something. It's like, yeah, That's like, I don't know why you're talking girl, like that. Brooklyn. Exactly. <laughs> so it's been a mess, Carmela. It's really been a mess. Like, we've just been dealing, you know, with these men left and fucking right. I don't, yeah. I don't know. And then I made up with Larry. You know, Larry's happy to see me and oh, stuff good, like that. He said, good. I'm happy I'm live. He said a really sweet compliment. He was like, you know, I was going to, I was firing, like, everyone on my team. But I did not want to fire you because simply if I was to fire you, they might as well just burn the entire New York State down without you. Because it's nothing without you. And he so meant that. that, that tells me he really uh, fucking meant that. Okay, yeah, so. here's what I'm dealing with. I feel okay. like the reason Vinny went so crazy on you is because <laughs> you have to understand, girl, he was born in like the 1700s where literally if you like smiled at a man, he thought that you were dating. So oh I feel God. like, you know, because he is old and weak minded and right. bald with low self-esteem, he probably just assumed that you would fall in love with him and just, you know, be obsessed and all lovey-dovey mm -hmm, right. and this and that. And then Rosa came back and he got all scared and he was like, oh, oh my God, what am I going to do? So he decided yeah. to do the good old one too. Let's make fun of this girl. 
and constructed this sick. crazy plan with Zolo to do all this fucking shit and set you up. And then you got shot for it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then they want to fucking call me crazy. The, and you're not when crazy. I, when I react to their fucking bullshit. You <laughs> see that? That's some fucking manipulation one on one right there. That's what I fucking do. And, 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 and now fucking Zolo and fucking Vinny is doing it to me. I don't understand. No, I even fucking want get men. it. Like, Who the wanna... fuck would want these men? They're fucking babies. That's what, that's they can't even wipe their own asses. That's what I'm they wear fucking about. underwear from exactly. Food of the Loom. Exactly. Skin they marks talk in about them. Me. All the fucking time they want to talk to me. Maybe here and there. All this fucking shit. I'm so sick of it. Come on. I'm fucking done with it. I'm, I'm so, so sick fucking it. sick of it too. All these men, they need mothers. I don't want to be your mother. I just want to smash. Why do we got to raise them? Why, Why do we, we have to teach them? these men how to act? I don't get it. <laughs> Okay, this is what I'm thinking, Carmela. This is what I'm thinking. <laughs> I think we should get back, or you know, the girls band together, get back them in like yes. one big hoorah, like fuck you in they face kind of thing, you know? That's what I'm fucking thinking too, bitch. So, no, I just, I just gotta, I have to plan, I have to think about these things. Well, because right? I want it to be, I want to be like a big fuck you. you know? I'm saying I'm it should shit. be like, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you again. Like it should be one thing after right. another. This can be like multiple things, Brooklyn. Exactly. Like I want it. I want it to be a so fuck you. Like it, they they feel it physically in their ass. I want it to be blood, sweat, tears, and a diss track. Mm. Ooh, Rosa diss wants track. to do a diss track. Imagine the three of us talking about killing Vinny and how pathetic he was. Mm hmm. That well, would yeah, destroy Zolo is fucking paranoid that I'm gonna like you know snap his neck at any given moment. Zolo can be in the diss track too. Yeah, I don't see why not. You know, just fully throw it out there and just like, there you fucking go. Yeah. Now, now we're fucking even. Now we're, now fucking, we're all talking. fucking even. Um, I'm over. We need to figure out where Vinny is and bring him somewhere and torture the absolute fuck out of him. I'm talking twop off a finger. Do something like that. Tattoo your name on his forehead. You know, he we was should, talking oh, a we should, whole we bunch about me tattoo, too. We should, we should all fucking tattoo his ass. I'm I mean, like, uh, like should. come together, put like a symbol or something, like a that stands for cheetah. Like, what stands for cheetah as a symbol? Hmm. I don't know. We can totally think about that. Oh, I might as God. well fucking tattoo the word Ming on his forehead because he was like talking so much about him and being like, oh well, Carmela cheated on Rami with Ming, da -da 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 -da, which I oh. did not do. So, you know, if he wants to suck Ming's ass that much, I might as well fucking tattoo Ming's name on his forehead if that's what he wants to do. I don't see why not. I think that's a quite um, quite justified in, in my personal opinion, if you that's ask me. what I'm fucking talking about. Uh, let me see where mm. Rose is. Okay. Have you talked to her since, like... I haven't talked to her since yesterday. Oh, my God. Brooklyn... I don't understand why all this fucking happened. All because I, you were I, a free woman that a free was just fucking woman. That, talking. Again, that I didn't even know Zolo and fucking Vinny were even boys. That's I just was talking to a fucking running guy that wanted to take me off. And you for weren't some even dinner. sucking and fucking. You were just talking. I didn't, I didn't even get to that part. I didn't even get to that fucking and part. Thank God you didn't. Thank God you yeah, did. Thank you know God. What? Thank fucking God. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't have to do that, girl. Mommy wants to cut Benny's <laughs> dick off and glue it to his fucking forehead like a limp dick unicorn. <gasps> That's a great idea. <laughs> it is a pretty good idea. I fucking love Angel so is that much. Like a second degree attempt to murder? Murder of his ego and his pathetic penis? I think so. You think Rami would be on this? Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah, okay. When he said around, we can get him on it and set something up. I'm just, I have so many fucking ideas that it's like creeping through my fucking cranium right now. So but many yeah, ideas. So, I currently have fucking uh, nerve damage in my left head anymore, so I can't feel anything. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Is there anything they yeah. can do about it? Like, tell the nerves to come back? Ah, uh, no. It's, it's just, it's gone. I don't know. Like, sometimes I get a little, it starts twitching a little bit. Because I, I get, you know, if I feel any, if, if I'm in, it, like, any danger, then it'll start twitching a little bit. Oh, but other than okay, that, wait, that's yeah. kind of good then. Is it twitching today? Maybe, it wasn't twitching today. It was twitching a little bit yesterday. But today oh, it wasn't. No. Okay, so that's good then. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad one. But that's usually <laughs> how it fucking goes. Hey, Rosa, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I was just feeling, uh, feeling her in on everything that pretty much happened. That's, uh, you know, current present day. Oh yeah. Um, 
she told me about a possible diss track. She talked to the, about maybe we can take Benny somewhere, you know, from all the shit that he done. And uh, I don't know, tattoo like a symbol on his back or something. I don't fucking know. That stands for, you know, Cheetah. Him oh, being a little asshole. Life. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Fucking permanent stem. That maybe he'll change his way. You know, he's still like today and last night when everything was wrapping up, he still said Ooh. he was not a cheater. Are you he has never went me? on a date and he never cheated and there's nothing to say sorry for because he didn't do anything. And okay, da, 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 well da, da, then da. we torture him until he says sorry. That's it. He even specifically said, I'm sorry. And he said, I'm not saying sorry for what you want me to say sorry for, but I'm sorry in general. Like, what? huh? Yeah. Kami worm. Booty ass old man. What is with these guys? I can't fucking take this anymore. No. Something big has to hit him. And Zolo exactly. too, because I don't care. He's the one that shot Brooklyn. And she can't even feel her left titty. Listen, Zolo is... I don't even know the word for Zolo, but Zolo has his hand in everyone's fucking business all the time. Always. He cannot just mind his own fucking business. And that's yeah, the fucking truth. He has his hand in the fucking cookie jar of every girl that I fucking Literally, know. Literally. Everyone's fucking cookie jar. Oh my god, he is just insane. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't even know who he wants to back up. He was trying to back up Vinny yesterday, then he flopped, and he was with Rami, and then he was with Vinny, and I was like, you don't even know whose side you're on. What a freak. Was mm -hmm. Rami being, like, on Vinny's side, or what was he acting like? Do I need to beat his ass, too? No, no, no. Rami shot Vinny. <gasps> yeah. What? Rami was for the girls yesterday. Granted, he was stirring like a motherfucker, but he still was for the oh girls. Oh my god. I know. Million dollar pussy. Million dollar pussy. I've trained him well, ladies. <laughs> what yes. can I say? I know you changed that man. <laughs> you okay, fixed good, him. Good, I'm glad. Because, you know, if he was going to get involved in this and, you know, start shit talking you girls too, that would have been it for me. Yeah, down with him too. Yeah, yeah 100%. Honestly, Carmela, I think you should try to hire somebody, you know, track fucking, you know, Vinny's everywhere, but see if he says anything about you or Rosa or whoever. Like you know, get more thrown on his ass and see if he's still talking shit. I'm pretty sure he is. Rosa, what, like, in specific was he saying about me? Like, was it just, like, the Ming thing? He or did said he just, like... that... You always cheat on Rami, and Rami just says, oh, it's fine, and that, you know, you, you fuck around with Ming, and that you fuck a ton of guys, and all this oh, kind of, like, really? holy Yeah, and oh, that you cheat all the really? time, and Rami's just, you know, pussy whipped by you or something. That is real funny coming from him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good to know. And he acts all innocent. I never went on a date with Brooklyn. Bullshit, Vinny. No, he was obsessed with Brooklyn. I remember in the car, he was saying like, oh my God, she's Yeah, and so then his great. whole thing is, oh, Brooklyn's just crazy. She's just crazy. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's just crazy. But yeah. Oh my that God. That man had a mouth on him yesterday. Us. Oh my God. She's so elusive. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Paris. <gasps> the hey Paris girls. Argo? <laughs> it's good to see you guys, Brooklyn. It's good to see you alive Hi, well. Paris. Good to what's, see you, good to see you. What's going on? Down with the shit. Down with the fucking men. Man ain't shit. Benny's a piece of shit. Zolo is a dumbass. I'm sick of them all, honestly, at this fucking point. We're all, we all are. Okay, so we need to get someone to figure out Vinny's whereabouts. And then we need to find somewhere to take him. And trap him mm. in and really Fuck him up. You know who always knows where he is? Who? Pigeon. Oh. But Pigeon I, also has one of the biggest mouths I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna and lie. I think Pigeon just went to go do some business. And when well, I was on the phone with anymore. Pigeon today, he told me he's gonna kill Brooklyn. <gasps> what? Totally yeah, forgot to mention that. I should have said that first. All because no, 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 no. He said it's because you texted him and said, "Can I have a gun?" Which, I don't think murdering you for that should that's happen. That's like conversations I've had you just with say people. Don't simple do it mistake. Again. It's yeah, just like, a I simple would, mistake. I, like, I wasn't, yeah, I, was, I wasn't really. <laughs> I will give you a piece of what? advice as oh, oh, oh. a judge and Pigeon's old attorney. 
don't mm -hmm. ever text him anything of substance because that man gets subpoenaed like nobody's fucking business. Got it. And you'll go down with him. Right, right. But yeah, that still, I told him that if he tries to but fuck yeah, that you, is not I'm going to fuck him up. Worthy of being murdered. No, not at all. That man's all talk, though. I don't know. He did dress up in disguise one time and kidnap me and scare the fuck out of me.